Hello everybody, it's Rachel Runko, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm doing a get to know me video. So I don't really know what to say in a get to know me video because I've never filmed one before. I did an introduction video in 2018, I deleted the video because it was very very old and I was obsessed with unicorns back then. Why? I do not know. It's 2022 now, four years later. Actually, over four years later because I filmed that in like February. So, yes, in today's video I'm doing a get to know me video. Let's get started. I'm going to start off with the basics like my name and my favorite colour and everything like that what made me want to start YouTube and all my personal stuff. So my name is Rachel. On this channel I film productivity, motivational and lifestyle videos. My favourite colour is really the colour brown. I love the colour brown, I'm obsessed with it. A linen brown is the best colour ever. <laughs> I don't anymore but I used to watch this YouTuber um, on, from Roblox um, and he was obsessed with linen can't remember his name um but if you do know him on about that's him on about i read <laughs> I, d I didn't really know what to say call me the book i'm reading is fake law i've not really gotten into it yet i started reading it this morning i read a page this morning but i'm not really like started reading it because i've been busy with school so yeah i've been reading fake law this is the book i'm reading right now the last book I read for book was Kill Instinct by James Patterson, I think it said. So yeah, book I read last, I 100% recommend um, reading that book if you love it. like that crime novel. It includes real events like 9-11, pretty sure it included the atomic bombs, I think it might have done. I can't think of anything else. Um, favorite TV show, Vampire Diaries, 100%. Currently watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine and Shake It Up. Um, Shake It Up is Zendaya and Bella Thorne, I think it is. Um, yeah, probably can't focus on finishing that because I'm nearly finished it. Then I'm gonna carry on my Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I've watched Vampire Diaries like eight times. This is my eighth time I'm watching it through again. I started watching the originals, then it got took off Netflix. And I also started watching Legacies as well. Which the Legacies weren't amazing in my opinion actually. Because yeah, cause they're like they're all so much older and it kind of I don't know. I feel like they shouldn't have made the Legacies. Favourite movie, um don't have one. I'm also obsessed with Spider-Man No Here Home. I've been watching that quite a lot recently too. Um, we actually ordered the movie like ages ago, but it's still not come yet. <laughs> um, which kind of sucks actually. <laughs> so the next category is my school life. School life, I have friends. So I have three main friends, Jessica, Anita and Neve. I feel like Neve and Jessica might be my closest cause I hang out with them more cause they are to go out more than Anita is. Anita and Jessica I've known since primary school, so I've known them the most longer. But I feel like I've got a closer connection with Neve and Jessica. So just to clear things up here, I am like very very close friends with all three of them, but I just hang out with Neve and Jessica more um, outside of school, if that makes sense. Um, for the first time today. Jessica gave me a hug. I kind of find it weird, but also nice at the same time, if you know what I mean. Cause my friends and I, we don't really hug each other. We are not, yeah, we're just not really the type of friends to hug a lot, to be honest. Um, but me and Jessica actually hugged today, which was kind of nice. Yeah. Again, to clear things up, me and Jessica don't really hug a lot. Um, and we, hug because she felt like she needed a hug and I gave her a hug and it felt nice to actually like hug a friend kind of because cause we're not type of that like friend group that we don't hug it's like nice to have that small change kind of. School's going 
good. I got like 43% of my maths test, but it was like an advanced paper. Um, so it was like GCSE level paper. So I feel like I did good for like what type of paper it was on. I didn't get the lowest in my class anyway. I got like 26 out of 60 or something like that, which it, I know it sounds bad. I got a cure, which is equivalent to like a high C, no, a high B, low C. So maybe about like a six or maybe a five, six or seven. History is my best subject. I've got three advances in a row. Wait, no, I got on my first four tests. So on my Jack the Ripper test, I got did two Jack the Ripper tests. Got an advanced in both of them, which is higher than my target, um, which my target is to secure, so my advanced, I've got not all marks, so it would be maybe about an 8 I would get if it was on a GCC, so I would have gotten two eights there on my Jack the Ripper tests. Um, and the other ones I got advanced again, which would have been maybe a 7 or an 8. My last test I did quite bad because I don't like the Martin Luther King and Malcolm X topic because that's what we are doing well we did and I got a secure which is at my target so I feel like I'm going to go down because where I'm at now is an advance so I have a feeling I'm going to do to secure and geography I'm doing terrible man <laughs> um, don't really have to worry about geography to be honest because I'm not doing it next year for GCSEs English terrible I feel like I'm going to move down a set um maths um I got my first advanced ever oh yeah oh yeah um, my targets are secure but I got an advance on my last, not my last test but the two tests before I got two advances so I got moved up an RPA which just means my next assessment should be around an advanced and like an 8 maybe, an 8 or 7. Social media, I go on it every day, I feel like I'm a bit too obsessed, I'm trying to learn down my TikTok especially and my Instagram, it's a massive screen time for them too. Um, Snapchat is my important thing because I have my streaks and I talk to um, some friends on the WhatsApp. is like my most screen time, I feel like. TikTok and WhatsApp, but on WhatsApp, it's only WhatsApp that all my friends have, so we chat on WhatsApp a lot. So yes, I do have loads more friends but they just don't go to the same school and I don't want to mention the names because I can't remember which ones can't be mentioned on a video or not. TikTok, um, I made a TikTok account in February it might have been, um, it's called Crazy Beans K, it was a challenge against me and my sister which I got a bit obsessed with I think and it started doing quite well actually i have like over 2700 followers i might have been and over 100,000 likes in total my first ever video now has about 250,000 views um which i was quite impressed with i do not do face videos i hate doing face videos on tiktok the question i get asked the most is why did i start youtube i started youtube for my own personal good. I wanted to create videos. Um, I wanted to create videos personally for myself to look back on. Some videos accidentally go viral. Well, viral in my sense, in my account. Meaning like a thousand views <laughs> in my sense for YouTube. Because it's really hard to get videos around on YouTube. Like it's well easy to do on TikTok if you're not doing it. It's all on one platform with YouTube being the game and like all, all different sort of stuff like that. My theme and my room. <laughs> I don't want to go into that. Abstract, Earth, uh, definitely them two styles. And I'm going to watch a get to know me video for some ideas on what to say and then I'll be right back. My dream holiday slash vacation is probably Georgia. Um, or New York, and um, probably both of them. I really want to go to Georgia to visit the Salvatore House at Mystic Falls. Um, if they still do it, I don't know if they like close it down because of COVID. Um, if you have been to Georgia, can you please like message me on like Instagram or something? 
if, if you know my Instagram or something. So can you please tell me on like Instagram or my TikTok if it's still open, if you've been to Georgia before um, after COVID or since COVID. And the last thing I'm going to be talking about is my options. I've still not got my options back from school yet, which is sad, but I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I mean, I do care, but I don't get it at the same time. Um, I have a feeling that I've got all my options, but my last one, I feel like I've got my reserved option for my last one. And I'll explain why. So I opted for my first option, psychology, because I want to go into like child therapy. I think it's going to be interesting. I hope it's going to be interesting. And then I opted for drama, which I think I've got because my drama teacher, well, my dance teacher teaches me drama too, but she won't teach me for drama if I get it for my options. But she really wanted me to get drama. So I have a feeling, I have a good, good feeling that I have drama. Then for my third option, I picked photographer. Um, I was told that I had to do Spanish, but I really don't want to do Spanish as you see. So I put my So I put my reserved option as Spanish and put my third option as photographer. So if they want me to do Spanish they'll switch my photography with my Spanish. I would much rather prefer to do photography over Spanish, but if it can't be done, it can't be done. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Um, I really do appreciate it. So if you enjoyed this video today, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to me if you are new. If you want to, you don't have to, but I would love it if you did. <laughs> Bye. I think I'm a pretty good chef.